Hey, good morning, guys. Happy Sunday. It's a beautiful Sunday to you. Welcome to your daily dose of winning. How are you? So I had to restart this video because I swore. And I said it pretty forcefully. And I won't get it. It won't be able to be published in certain groups that need to, you know, that I want to publish it in and that need to hear it. You know what I mean? But I did my video yesterday. Today's day 42. I recorded a video yesterday, but I didn't publish it. I didn't post it. It got heavy on my brain. And it deals with an aspect of my life that's a little, it's, it's, it's muddy. It's a mess. I spoke a little bit on it a couple of videos ago about the baggage carts on the tarmac and all the crap laying around. My personal, my personal life. My professional's going well, doing what I gotta do, following my process. I'm working on my Facebook stuff and that's slamming work. 205 followers, or no, sorry, 207 followers, 206 likes. Up from 64 two days ago. Um, my physical is going well because I mean I'm seeing my pants don't even fit right anymore. They're too they're too big. But my personal, on the other hand, is not. My personal is a muddy, murky mess. In my brain, it is. Maybe to other people, it's not. But in my brain, it's pretty murky and muddy. And in my life, I've had quality. In my life, I've had quantity. In my life, I've had toxic. In my life, I've had the opposite. I go and have a tendency from go to one extreme to the other. I also have a tendency to shiny object things, like just... I'm like, ooh, ooh, ooh. And that creates quantity. Not necessarily quality. So my murkiness is chase after all the shiny things or nothing at all. Literally, nothing at all. Or I don't know if there's an or. Yeah, there's an or. Or do I find quality? And I have some quality in my life. And this is where I swore before, and I had to go, oops, let me redo that. It scares the bejesus out of me. It scares the it scares me. Quality scares me. Because quality means quality means taking the time to get to know somebody, to get to know people, know their know their likes, know their dislikes, know their strengths, boost them with their weakness, boost them in their weakness time, in their weak times, and. I just, I'm not, I don't know what to do with that, <laughs> except roll with it, I guess, or take some time for myself and realize that, and, and figure this stuff out, File, get my filing cabinet in order, I guess. I, um, yeah, therapy does that. There, certain therapy, certain therapy, um, methods do that. Your mind is like a filing cabinet. There's, you know, that we need to file things. We need to put things in files and we need to put things in, in order and in categories and whatnot. Mine right now is just a mess on the floor. It literally, it's just, it's a mess on the floor. And I'm looking at it, scratching my head, and feeling overwhelmed. 
18 months ago, 19 months ago, the same thing happened. I was sitting, I, but it was in reality. I was standing in the doorway of my bedroom, my front bedroom, front room of my apartment, and it was a mess. It had all, literally, all the junk and crud from my previous marriage. All the stuff from my life up to that point was in that room that I had, that I owned, that was mine. Everything I had that was in that room was from my past. And then somebody burned my building down. And all that stuff went up in smoke. So I no longer had any attachments to any of that stuff. Some people that know me know I'll go, oh, I had that, eh, I lost it in the fire. You know what I mean? There, there's the, and I, or I go, oh, eh, and they already know, eh, I lost it in the fire. Are you gonna go golf, dude, or are you gonna go at 40 miles an hour? You gotta, you gotta drive, that's what we gotta do here. You have to drive because you're wasting time. I don't know what you're doing, I know it's a Sunday and all, but this is a Sunday driver day. Holy smokes, who's doing 45 miles an hour? 55. <laughs> but anyway, I watched it all burn. Now, I'm not saying that was the probably one of the, the, the good things that came out of that is I didn't have to go through all of that stuff that had all that negative toxic energy and say, well, should I keep this? Should I keep that? Should I throw that? Should I, what should I do with it? Somebody else took care of it for me. But Here's the issue with that somebody taking care of that for me. There is still a psychic link to all that. I didn't get to throw that out. I didn't get to disturb, destroy that. I didn't get to get rid of it. Somebody else got rid of it for me. So I'm going to rebuild now. Cool. But that psychic baggage, that emotional baggage, that mental baggage that's still there, that toxicity is still there. It's still in my brain. And that's what sits heavy, is that crud in my brain. The I, I spoke about it a couple videos ago too, about feeling like I don't deserve to sit at the table of success. You know? Someone told me, a friend told me, yeah, but you know what? Think about everybody else at that same table. They're probably thinking the same thing. I don't deserve to sit here. Now, there are some people who are arrogant enough to be like, yeah, I deserve that. What? Who are you? You ain't nobody. There are people like that. Whatever. That energy doesn't last. But, whoa, what are you doing? Get over the road. You're on the wrong side of the road. You just walk against traffic. Anyway, but yeah, so it's just a matter of that psychic, emotional baggage is still there. And I need to take the time out of my life and away from my, out of my life, I need to take that time for myself, personal accountability time, personal reassessment time, whatever it is, and work on that. I know somebody that did that detach themselves from pretty much everything. Um, you know, did their daily routines because routines end up becoming habits and habits are habits are kind of mindless. They just happen. But they detach themselves from everything but their daily habits, their daily routines, and worked on themselves. And it was about a six week process. Eight week process, I think. Six to eight weeks, maybe 90 days, I don't remember. But they came out better on the other side. Then unfortunately life threw some more crap on them, but now they have the tools to fix that. They have the tools to work on that again. And I think I need to do that. I think I need to take that time to personally reassess my values, which I already know. My, my values, my motives, my empathy, my spirituality, Reass reassess me 
Because physically it's easy. I just do it. I get into the habit of going to the gym and doing it. Getting in the ha- get in the habit of getting up and, and do it. At 6.30 my body wakes up whether I want it to or not. Even on days I try to sleep in, 6.30 I'm like, man. Now if I say no and go back to sleep, I will, but I'm like, man, I'm awake. Professionally, it's just a matter of literally doing it, going through the process. It becomes a habit. There are no personal habits that I've developed yet. There are, but they're bad ones. They're not good habits. They're bad habits. The thing, One of the things that I live by of what I believe in spiritually is, if it harms none, do what you will, including myself. The problem is, is a lot of times we realize, well, I'm not harming anybody, but we are. We're harming ourselves. And then when we want to unharm ourselves, sometimes others get hurt. That's just the or sometimes others feel hurt. And I don't know that that's where my dilemma comes in, my moral dilemma. That's where my that is where my personal is a flipping mess. Straight up. I don't want to hurt anybody. I don't want to make anybody sad. I enjoy making people happy and motivating people and inspiring people. Not making people sad, not pay, making people cry, not making people hurt. I don't like that. I don't. Which ended up putting me in that predicament that I was about three months ago, about September ish. End of August, beginning of September ish. Which put me in that mental mind state of, well, there will only be one more tear shed for me and then that's it. No one will ever shed tears for me again. But they will. I'm gone. You know what I mean? So now I get to deal with the personal aspect of my three Ps. Which we all know, in a stool for stability, two legs don't work. You need three at least. And to add that fourth of purpose makes it even sturdier. So, that's why I didn't publish yesterday's video. And now I'm sitting here going, am I going to publish this one? (laughs) You know what I mean? Am I going to post this one? I kind of have to. I didn't post the other one yesterday. It just got too heavy. But I always said, it'll be raw and uncut. It'll be authentic. I saw that this morning on another Entronation person, Krista Turner. She said, you know, authenticity, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah. Got to show some authenticity. Not that I haven't been. I'm just saying it's a matter of, well, yeah, that's... And someone else said that to me yesterday, you know? People appreciate the realness. People appreciate the authentic. They don't want fake. They want real. Because in this day and age, everything, they want transparency. And I'm being transparent and saying I didn't publish my video yesterday because it was similar to this one. But this one I'm going to post. <sighs> and the sun is really bright. That's why my eyes are watering. <laughs> but yeah, so I think I digress and I ramble. But I do, got, I do want you guys to remember that you're flipping awesome and you're amazing. And I'm telling you that. And you got to believe that. I find it hard sometimes to believe it in myself. But I know I am. And it takes work and it takes determination and it takes drive and it takes discipline. It really does. It's not easy. But you're amazing and you're awesome and you got this. And anything and anyone that tries to take that away from you is toxicity. You need to get rid of that mindset. You need to get rid of those people out of your life. And that's what I'm trying to do. (laughs) That is what I'm trying to do is get rid of that toxicity out of my own stinking brain. My stinking thinking, I like to call it. So with that, I'm going to end for now because I'm almost at work. And I appreciate each and every one of you guys. 
Some of you say that I inspire you. You know what? You guys inspire me. And I appreciate that. I will see you guys on the next one. I love all of you. Take care. Peace.